minus 17 in Toronto right now. I've been testing out this Uniqlo puffer and Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Nico. Today, we're talking about a Toronto winter essential. We're talking about outerwear. And in this video, I just want to share with you guys the stuff that I've been wearing lately in this winter season. I also did a comparison between the Uniqlo Down Puffer and the classic, most iconic Canada Goose bomber jacket. Before we get into the jackets, I want to share with you guys the stuff that I wear with these jackets. First things first is a really sturdy, warm, heavyweight hoodie. Number one for me is my base would be a t-shirt and just a champion reverse weave hoodie. As you know, when you go thrifting, one of the best things to get are vintage champion hoodies that are reverse weave. So stuff from the 80s, stuff from the 90s, not only do they hold up, they also break down into this really nice boxy. Next up is a scarf. For me, I've only been using two scarves the past year, both from Off-White. One is a 100% wool. It's incredibly warm, it's light, and it's black. It's just easy to wear. Next is this 100% cotton. Yeah, this is just an easy, lightweight scarf that I wear. They're both made in Italy. I don't think the new Off-White scarves are anymore, but it is what it is. We're actually starting from the lighter ones going down to the heavier ones. I wanna make this really quick. But we're starting off with this classic Levi's trucker jacket. It's made with this insulation material that they use. It's called Thermor. As you can see, it's really thin. Like it's really, really thin, but it's incredibly warm. Next is just a classic Alpha Industries Sage Bomber. Warm, light, easy. Next is this thrifted Honda leather jacket. You have this nice Honda chenille patch. Super aged too. You can see the leather right there. A lot of just wear and tear on this piece. Just a nice vintage piece. Next is this sturdy made in the US Varsity Bomber. It kind of reminds me of those RAF sweaters and jackets that came out a couple years ago. But yeah, this is just an essential for me. Super sturdy, easy to wear, perfect for the city. Next is one of my favorites. This is a Nike chore coat slash work jacket. It's made with this really, really heavy cotton twill. It's quilted on the inside. Um, if you guys don't know, this is actually a Supreme collab. One of the best Supreme pieces you can possibly own. Next is this thrifted Woolrich jacket. I'm not even gonna get into it. You guys already know about this. It's, it's definitely a joint piece that we have. This is one of the best thrifted items that we own. It's made in Austria, 100% alpaca. Super, super inexpensive. Um, I think the dry cleaning was more expensive than the actual jacket. We're now gonna get into the stuff that you've been waiting for. The Uniqlo Ultra Light Down Puffer. I got this one for 60 bucks during the sale. Guys, there was a snowstorm here in Toronto the other day, which was the perfect time for me to test out this parka. We actually went out to eat. We went to Roselle's, which is a pastry shop. And then after that, we went to Super Point, which serves one of the best pizzas in the city. Kind of like a Sicilian style, New York style pizza. Yeah, so this is what happened. Minus 17 in Toronto right now. I've been testing out this Uniqlo puffer and I'm only wearing a t-shirt, a hoodie, and this Uniqlo puffer. And it's actually pretty warm, warm and toasty. I have no complaints and it's actually super light. And that's another thing, like you don't feel it weighing you down the whole day. So yeah, hope oh, that's good information. <laughs> All 
right, as you guys saw, I was wearing a t-shirt, hoodie, and this puffer, minus 17. This got the job done. There are a couple drawbacks when it comes to this Uniqlo puffer. Number one, the material, the, the shell itself is kind of flimsy. It's, it's super soft. Now, I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but it's definitely something to take note of. Number two, there's no hood. My head was actually cracking from the cold, but my body was warm. So, but other than that, there's no down leakage. It's just, it's a solid puffer jacket. Now we have the infamous Canada Goose Chilliwack Bomber. I've had this for quite a while now. And to be honest with you, I haven't been wearing it as much. However, when you're in the city, when you're in Toronto, and you're not really out like that, like during winter, you're gonna see me in a hoodie, a sweater, or something warm. Wearing that and a Canada Goose jacket just feels super warm, especially being a commuter. I take the TTC, I take the bus, I take the subway. You're in and out the cold anyway, like you don't need constant heat. Let's talk about the actual technical aspect of this jacket. This is a TEI-3. It is supposed to keep you warm up to minus 15, probably up to minus 20. This is a well-built jacket. It's made in Canada. It has a lifetime warranty. You're gonna be owning this jacket for like 10 years. I've had this jacket for like five years. It looks really, really good still. All right, guys, to wrap up this comparison, the Uniqlo Puffer is warm and the Canada Goose jacket is warm as well. So if you want to be warm, you can get either of these. Like it doesn't like it. They're both warm. All right. That's going to be it for this video. Please follow me on Instagram at Nikozon and I choke my. This has been my winter jacket rotation. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.